So one of the really powerful applications uh, in the pediatric emergency department is the identification of testicular torsion. So uh, when a patient comes in and they're having testicular pain and it's acute onset, your pretest probability is high or even moderate, identifying no flow in the affected testy can save lots and lots of time. And so how do we do this in a systematic way? Well, what we do is we begin with the unaffected testy, and we look at the architecture of that testy, and then we look at the flow, and we can just do this with bi-directional color flow. And we just need to make sure that we set our scale appropriately. And then we take that same setting, and we move to the affected testy. Again, we look at the architecture. Is the testy becoming boggy? Is it edematous? Is it heterogeneous? These would all be indications of a testy that's been torsed for a long period of time. And then we look to see if there's flow using the same flow settings that we did on the unaffected side. And if we don't see any flow and our pretest is high, then we need to speak to urology ASAP. If we see increased flow, you know, does that mean that we've got an infected testy, that we have an epididymitis or chitis? Well, most of us now, in this day and age, have the ability to identify the epididymis and to assess it as well. So anyways, you can use this tool very effectively to identify a torse testy quickly and increase that patient's chance of salvaging that testy by getting to them to the OR more quickly. Of course, the key part is making sure you understand the scale. You don't want to have the scale wrong and look at a testy and misidentify it as having no flow when you've just set your scale parameters at the wrong levels.